Full screen mode is the way you would use power music when you are performing or practicing a piece of music. You can access the full screen mode by either clicking on the icon up here or pressing the F5 function key on the keyboard. So we could just simply select a song in here, click on full screen and we get it displayed in full screen mode. Coming back, we can select chord sheets and again go back to full screen and either clicking in the corner here or popping up the menu down there to close the full screen or we can display both chord sheets and sheet music by clicking on there and we see them both side by side again we can put that up full screen. If we have a playlist set up click on one of the items in the playlist go full screen and the difference this time is you'll see the sidebar down the side of the screen here. You only get the sidebar when you're going full screen from a playlist. What does the sidebar give us? It gives us the playlist here which we can move things up and down the playlist by just clicking on here. We can delete things from the playlist and we can transpose and we'll come back to transposing chord sheets in a separate video. We also get an on-screen keyboard so again if we're using a touch based computer by clicking on here we can bring up the keyboard and that's useful for doing things like typing in annotations and stuff like that. When we're in the middle of a performance it's useful to see what time it is so we've got a clock sitting here. This section here is for notes so if we uh, click on here and we can start typing and we can save the note and that note is now attached to that song and every time we bring up that song that will be visible and we can change the size of it to make it more readable or we can make it smaller. From within the sidebar as well we can select other songs. If we go here we get the list of all the songs so we could choose a song, Silent Night, and display it immediately and it comes up on screen. So if in the middle of a set we decide to do something different you can just go to the all songs there, choose the one you want and bring it up and then when you are finished that it just goes back to the playlist. You can also add something to the playlist here so again let's say it's um, let's choose You're My Shepherd and add to playlist and that adds it to the bottom of the playlist and you can move it around while in the middle of a performance set. This is also the place where you can play an audio file from. If I choose Alaturka and add that to my playlist, you'll notice now when I choose that piece of music, it automatically started playing. I'll just stop that. Because this button was ticked, it automatically plays that as soon as it comes up on screen. So if I take that off and uh, we go to it this time, it doesn't automatically play. If we want to play it, we click on the play button or press A on the keyboard and that starts it playing. In full screen mode, there's a pop-up menu here and this pop-up menu allows us to close the full screen, to close the menu. If we want to blank the screens and make them white, do that. We get a white screen. As soon as we move the mouse, it comes back. Or we can blank it and make it a black screen, which is useful if you're performing at night and you don't want all the screens blaring out uh, when you're not performing. Notice also the playing audio is there and hiding and showing notes and we can also pull up the metronome, clicking on there it brings up the metronome for 10 seconds either the flashing LED or a click track. If we've got a chord sheet displayed then when we go to a pop up menu here we've got two extra options here which are to transpose up and to transpose down and we'll talk about transposing in a separate video. Finally we can hide the playlist by clicking on here or pressing the P on the keyboard. To move through our playlist we use either the foot pedal, tapping the pedal will take us down, or using the arrow keys on the keyboard to move up and down through the playlist. Pressing escape or clicking on the corner of the screen or bringing up the menu takes us out of full screen mode. Remember full screen is also the place where you do annotations.